Hey, this is Jen Spencer with LearnHowToMakeBows.com. Just wanted to show you some of the amazing bows that I have made thanks to Emily's course on how to make great bows. Um, the first one, which I just love because I'm a big fan of ladybugs, is just a simple line clip with a ladybug embellishment. Now, I also found these adorable um, embellishments at the craft store, and they had all kinds of dogs and bones, and you can see the little fire hydrant and doghouse. So I had a lot of fun making uh, line clips, which are great for toddlers and um, infants. I wouldn't use these, though, if they would pull at them because, you know, those the little uh, embellishments there could be a choking hazard. But they're great for all kinds of little girls, and they're so much fun to make. I also tried my hand at a corker bow, and I think it looks pretty good here with the, the pink and the blue, and um, I really want to make some with tons of colors, like just do all different kinds of colors and patterns. I think that would be really neat. But that was my first corker bow. And then here, um, my husband actually created an interchangeable bow. So this is my first try at making an interchangeable bow, and I just really like the brown and the stripes there. And then this next one, I kind of did a little play off of Emily's design of a flower bow. And instead of um, just simply putting it on the line clip, I actually decided to make some leaves so it looked really like a flower in the bow. And I just think it's really fun. And then you can see in the middle I added some embellishments, little pearl balls um, in the middle. And then finally, I made a braided headband. Now, this did take a little bit more time, but once I picked up the braiding or the weaving pattern, it was so easy. I couldn't believe it. And I just love headbands, so that was a lot of fun to make, too. So this is Jen Spencer with LearnHowToMakeBows.com, and I just want to say that um, thanks to Emily and her course available at LearnHowToMakeBows.com, I was able to make all these different types of bows and headbands, and I had never, ever tried to do any of this before. So this is my first shot at all of them, and I was just really pleased um, and really excited that I was finally able to make bows. So if you want to make bows just like that, um, all kinds of bows, I didn't even get into some of the bows that she'll teach you how to make, um, go to learnhowtomakebows.com right now and sign up for, to get a free lesson. Have fun making bows. Bye.